From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a major day as the month of October starts and major stimulus arrives. How are you? Good afternoon. Major development details today as Americans are getting massive amounts of checks, billions of dollars of checks. We'll go over the latest details of these incredible stimulus checks landing in people's hands. They are ISC, Inflation Relief Stimulus Checks, brand new. I'll have the latest details on those in this recording. FSCs, Federal Stimulus Checks, massive payouts. Upwards of $300,000. Viewers are, from this channel are walking away with $200,000 so far. You can as well. Those FSCs are from the federal government, hence F. And then LSCs, Lifetime Stimulus Checks. That really heat up until days from now, October 13th, and we had major news that impacts the raise of your benefits in these LSEs on Friday. We'll go over the latest details on where inflation is, where recession is, and its impact on you. Plus, stay to the big staff. Promise me this, you stay to the big second half because I'm going to go over each of these incredible checks. Those FSCs alone is going to be 300 checks for you to get, and I'm going to go over everything, over everything you need to know to get these incredible checks. But other breaking news hitting left and right today is the following. One, housing market continues to weaken, and that is because the 30-year bond rate surged to a 7% as I predicted. Is it going to 8%? I'll the latest prediction across the board today as well. Number two, stocks are rebounded today with a down to about 600 points up at one point, 500 points. What is going on, and is this a recuperation, or is this just sort of a dance in the park? Then, we go over to the bond market as the bond yields continue to track higher. The Federal Reserve is meeting just dates from now, and what are they going to do, and what are they going to do thereafter? And then, we turn to the industries that are really hurting because of supply chain disruption, because of inventory shortage, and then the massive rise of gasoline. We're just days away from a major announcement, but we've got more indications today about that announcement. OPEC Plus. What are they going to do that impacts the gasoline prices at the pump and impacts your raise of your benefits and your inflation? All this incredible breaking news. It's all new. It's all today. And stay the big second half as we go over all those incredible checks. It's a big afternoon, and it all starts right now. And good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful day. As we start the month of October, major news hitting today and happening this week. We'll go over the Federal Reserve, the raise of your benefits, the OPEC Plus meeting, the unemployment, the situation, of course, with those jobless claims, the housing market, the raise of your benefits, and more, and of course, inflation. And lastly, your stimulus. That's all coming up, plus the, the lifetime of stimulus and those seven new categories of checks. The recession, the inflation, your benefit raise, your housing market, and your four stimulus, all those breaking news, starts right here, right now, on a massive afternoons of Afternoons LA. How are you? Welcome back. It's a big day with big news. It started on Friday when the Personal Consumption Expenditure Index, PCE, was released, and it showed that inflation went up compared to the prior month. Huge news because we're just days away from October 13th when we learn how much your benefits go up. And that news is big. Why? Because that was the final month, September of three months, July, August, and September, that determines how much your benefits go up. Not just next year, but lifetime. And this is massive stimulus. We'll go over the latest details on that in just a second. Meantime, the stocks are rebounding today. Is that good news or is it a walk in the park? I say it's a walk at the beach with a Weibo check that's not waving back at you. <laughs> that's really what's going on. It's the start of the fourth quarter, so it's a different time of the year. And people are trying to find some profits, and that's why stocks are rallying up. But let's make very this clear. This is not going to be some place or opportunity for you to buy and hold. This is not a buy and hold environment because the economy is falling apart. 
But also don't get confused by this breaking news. The other breaking news as well is the Atlanta Fed GDP Now was released on Friday, and it showed the U.S. economy actually grew a little bit in the third quarter. Does that mean there's no recession? Absolutely not. It doesn't mean that at all. But analysts are likely to say that and tell you good times are here to stay. Uh, that's like saying San Francisco hairstyles are back in fashion. <laughs> not the case at all. Let's jump right into that inflationary data that's huge. The, uh, metal, the massive number came in on Friday. The Personal Consumption Expenditure Index, PCE, showed that inflation rose compared to the prior, prior month. Oh, my goodness. Rose 0.6%, nearly 1% compared to the prior month. This is big. And this also showed annualized a 5% increase. Wow. Now, when you look at personal income, it rose 0.3, but people were spending 0.4% more. Yeah, so they're spending more than their income was raising. And headline inflation was as raising for PCE and also the component parts. The reaction to the news came in from Fed Governor, Vice Chair, I should say, Lair Brennard. Monetary policy needs to be more restrictive, raise rates for some time into 2024, until we're confident, secure, that inflation's back to target, 2%. So we're very far away from that 2%. And how long have they been trying this? <laughs> Since January. How far have they moved it? They've moved it about as far as a cow moves from the next chair over at the bar at the casino. Doesn't move much at all. And that is why the Federal Reserve is going to be raising rates. It, this is, you know, the first week of October. But in just less than a week and a half away, the Federal Reserve is going to meet. And they are going to do what you know the equation raise interest rates. And in raising interest rates, it'll continue the narrative started by Jay Powell, which is raising rates not just this September, this October, the rest of this year, as I predicted. Wall Street said they were done by last month. Wrong. Jay Powell raising rates into 2024? Yes. And so this is why so many things are being hurt across the board. Let's look at the hurt right now. First, a new report says that 60% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck compared to the prior month of 53%. Then, middle class hurting as well. They are only 38% living paycheck to paycheck. People making over six figures, middle class, 45% are going paycheck to paycheck. And you just saw that PCE number that said people are spending more than they're making. It's also confirmed by Bank America that says 71% of Americans now feel their paycheck is not keeping up with the cost of living. Where are you going to see that hurt in December? Well, we're back. Well, let's just go. Let's go over the current month, October. People are back at school and they're spending for Halloween and they're starting getting ready to spend for Thanksgiving, travel, and also for the Halloween holiday uh, season. And don't forget, holidays. LA is back on this channel at eleven a.m. Well, the impact is being felt by Apple and Nike that reports major trouble. Their trouble we're going to go over in just a second. But the great news for you, no trouble here. Not at all. No trouble whatsoever. Why? Because we pounce like a purple hawk. I told you earlier this year, this graphic, financial cliff coming in September. It came in September. And I told you, let's get some stimulus back in March. And you got that stimulus back in March. And you're still getting it today. And we're going to go over those incredible checks right now. Have you become a member? Let's go over what's, what we're going to do in this recording. First, I'm going to give you an overview of those incredible checks right now. And you promise that you stay the big second half as we go over each of these incredible checks. FSC, Federal Stimulus Checks. Monsters. Monster amounts. The first three checks passed by the President of the United States, $100,000. Passed in the month of March. Checks A, B, and C. Viewers are getting them. Have you gotten that $100,000 of checks A and B and C? We're going to go over them in the second half. Stay with me. Stay and watch this entire video. Those first three checks pass by the President. And they are federal stimulus from the federal government, not from your state. They're paid by the federal government, administered by the federal government, applications of the federal government. state has nothing to do with it whatsoever. The state doesn't even put the stamp on the envelope. Now, we weren't done there yet. Oh, maybe it gets even better because Congress came along and passed a bill that established seven other FSCs, federal stimulus checks. That brought us then to monster FSCs, but we weren't done there yet because I found for you all in the membership newsletter 
Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Other checks, L and M, N and O, P and Q. How do you get these incredible checks? Step one, you go on this video, join this channel. Welcome to the nearly 100 members who joined in the last 24 hours. You heard me right, 100 members in the last 24 hours. You need to join right now. The stimulus Stampede is around the corner and hashtag Stand for Stimulus. In the big second half, we're gonna go over each of these incredible checks one at a time because it's important to understand where they're going. But let's go to the other breaking news as well, housing. Housing market is going to really absolutely crumble. And the crumbling has really not hit the reality check yet. Why? Back in the month of Mar May, I told you the National Association of Home Builders said that the U.S. housing market was in a housing recession. That was May. And at the time, the mortgage rate that people buy a home with, the 30-year fixed mortgage rate, was a 3% heading to 6%. I had projected that it was going to go to 7% by the end of the year. And by the end of my that week of my projection, it was at 7%. Nowhere in the history of American economics have we ever seen a mortgage rate move so high so quickly. Where am I projected to go next? 8% by Christmas. But let me make very clear to you right now, and I debuted this over this weekend. No one else is telling you this except me, because I do the analysis and I get the projections right. The real crumbling of the housing market is not going to be seen by you and I in the data until about 60 days from now. Why? Because homes, when they go into escrow to buy a home, is usually a 90-day, 60-day escrow. And the people who are closing escrow, finishing it up right now, are not the people at 7% mortgage rates. These are the people from, yeah, May from June, from July, when it was 3 and 6%. They can afford a 3 and 6%. They can't afford a 7%. So the real crumbling in the housing market is likely not to be seen in the data until November. Jumping over to another industry at issue is really the uh, bond market. The bond market really falling apart very quickly. The bond market will actually surge, I say, surging uh, out, of, out of control very quickly. The bond market is surging because why? When stocks go down, bonds go up. Bonds go up when the Federal Reserve raises rates. And those bond rates are surging to levels we have never seen in the history of this channel. What's going on in those bond rates? Well, those bond rates in just a short period of time have surged dramatically. The two-year Treasury note surging to 4% from a 3 just a week earlier. And the 10-year note now at levels not seen in nearly 10 years. This is as news of the other side of the economy falling apart. What's the other side of the economy to bonds? Stocks, of course. And the stock market today is rallying up 500 to 600 points up. Walk in the park? Absolutely. Fake narrative? Sure. A little bit of trading? Absolutely. Buying and holding? No way, sir. No, 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 no. Bonds go up, stocks go down. When bond, when the stock market, when the stock market, the Dow, the Nasdaq, does not embed the risk of bad news in the future, guess what happens? Stock market crashes. And so over the summer, you and I saw this happening. Back in the month of May, Walmart and Target gave guidance that there's people not coming to the stores like they used to. Consumer confidence is not there. And they said, we're downward guiding for the whole rest of this year. They started the narrative. And stocks went slowly and surely down in the month of May. Then what happened? You and I knew from the Federal Reserve's own mouth that so the Federal Reserve was going to raise rates. Remember, raise rates, bonds go up, stocks go down. Raise rates the whole rest of this year. They told us. They're getting inflation to 2%. We're nowhere near 2%. What did Wall Street say? Wall Street said in June, July, and August, no, we're done with interest rate spikes come September. Wrong ridiculousness. But it worked for them. Why? Stocks went up June, up in July, up in August. And then came Jay Powell. Say, what are you doing, stock market? I told you I'm raising rates. Not just to the end of this year, like Al has been telling you. Not into early next year, like Al has been telling you. But into 2024. I was even shocked. And the markets crashed because they had not embedded the risk of those interest rate spikes. Why are stocks trading up today? Just the opportunity to trade. 
Some people buy and sell. I did trading a lot on the crypto shows on this channel. You buy and you flip it in two days. You're buying and selling in a few hours. That's trading. Is anyone buying and hold? If they are, they're going to lose their shirt. Why? The stocks are at the levels not seen, in some cases, since 1990. Stocks are losing 6 to 20% a day. So the fact that the market's up today, good for a few hours, maybe make a trade, but to buy and hold, no. Because we got two years of recession, stocks are going to go down even more. And that, my friends, is why I have to get a forced almost truck in every U.S. state. You got to get this incredible money in every U.S. state. Now, you want to see some of the checks? I want to show you some of those checks. Let's look at first of those first three checks that the president did of those FSCs back in the month of March. Those incredible first three checks are huge, and you want to get them. What are they? They are check A, B, and C. These incredible checks, again, are FSCs from the federal government. Your state doesn't send it. Your state has nothing to do with it. Don't ask if it's in your state because it's not from your state. It's from Congress, from the president, from the people in Washington, D.C. And let's look at those incredible checks A, B, and C right now. You ready? I am as well. Check A is a $6,500 to $12,000 for stimulus check in every U.S. state. This is a check that Spelling got. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. How do you get it? Step one, you join the channel. Welcome to the nearly 100 members that joined in the last 24 hours. Join the channel. And it doesn't matter if you join LA1, LA2, or LA3. The newsletter is delivered to all three of you. Go down where it says check B, a check A. <laughs> We're still on A. And click the link. In the newsletter, I give you the link for check A. You click the link, you go right in and apply and get that incredible sums of money. This is the weatherizing grant. Check B. Next one. Go down the membership newsletter. Check B. It tells you the details of check me and has the link all you do is you click it right for the newsletter and send you right into the check me application again this is federal stimulus fsc's fifteen eighty thousand dollars wow look at the success story that frank van has got for check me he's from florida 18 months of mortgage 18 months of utilities 18 months of high speed internet folks that's not a few thousand dollars that's tens of thousands of dollars and he got this after just one month of being a member for a few dollars. A few dollars as a member got him tens of thousands of dollars, or thousands of dollars at least. Another viewer out of Florida, she got eighty to $100,000. By becoming a member for a few dollars, eighty dollars to $100,000, she got 18 months of mortgage, 18 months of utilities as well. That's what Check B yields. Again, how do you get it? You become a member. Join the channel under the video. Go down to where it says Check B. Click the link and go right in and apply. You're not done there yet. You're going to go get Check C. Now, Check C is a little bit different. It's in the membership newsletter. And down at Check C, I tell you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. So simple. Now, the difference with Check C is I got 12 places for you to reach out for that incredible Check C. 12 places to reach out for 80 to 100 checks. Now, for Check C, this is rent, utilities, mortgages, this is more. And viewers, on average, are getting 18 months of these MSCs. 18 months of monthly stimulus checks. And each month, about five checks. Five times 18, that's a massive amount of money. Now, remember, for Check C, it's even better than Check B. Because Check B is 80 to 100 checks. Check C is also 80 to 100 checks. But for Check C in the membership newsletter, 12 places to reach out and get those incredible Check Cs. So you're going to reach out to all 12. Promise you be that. You reach out to all 12 because a lot of opportunities. And that, my friends, is just the first three checks. Just the first three checks. Of 300 checks, I'm going to go over with you in this video. The second half, we got a lot coming up. We're going to go over the remainder of those 300 checks of the FSCs. These are the federal stimulus checks for the federal government that yield hundreds of thousands of dollars. Then we're going to go over the ISCs, inflation relief stimulus checks. And next we're going to go over to the lifetime of stimulus checks. Massive amount of money. That's all coming up in just a second. But first, here's a series of questions for you. Jump in the live chat. I want to see your answers right now. We're going to answer them in the second half, but I want to see your answers right now. And then we'll revisit it all together as a family in the big second half. And question number one. On October 13th, the CPI-W for the month of September was released. What do you think that CPI-W will be? July was 8.7. August was 8.9. Right, the CPI-W you believe is going to be released on September 13th. Excuse me, October 13th. At comma, your state. 
Next, also on October 13th, COLA is going to be announced for the raise of your benefits. And where do you think that COLA number is going to be? So put COLA and then the number, comma, your state. And then, meantime, here's a big question, brand new one. When do you think the stimulus stampede is going to really hit this channel? When do you think the millions of Americans are going to realize their back is against the wall? They cannot financially afford what they're doing. They can no longer afford the $5 dozen eggs per week. They can no longer afford the $5 or $6 gallon of milk. When do you believe that financial cliff is going to hit? Jump on the live channel right that as well. And we'll be answering all those incredible checks questions in the big second half, plus be going over all those incredible checks. Another reason to get these checks is the economy. Now, stocks are up today, but you know what? Did we forget the earnings guidance? Did we forget the downgrades of companies? <laughs> That's what you always sort of look back and you say to yourself, uh, but excuse me, <laughs> why are you buying the stock? Why are stocks up 500, 600 points today when virtually most of them have downward guided for the whole rest of this year? So that means downward guided. They're going to lose money. They're, they're not going to report good earnings by the end of this year. And they've been downgraded by companies uh, like Bank of America. So why would anyone buy the stocks? To trade would be a reason. But let's go over the narrative right now. Apple, the manufacturer of the iPhone, was one of those companies bucking the trend. It looked like it was going to have a great Christmas. It was expected to draw in record sales of its iPhones this holiday season. And then it hit. It hit. The stock is down 20% so far this year when Bank America as well downgraded it on Friday, saying that, you know what? You're not going to have the demand. You're not going to have the demand for that $1,000 iPhone this holiday season. Consumer demand is diminishing or weakening, they, should, they said. And they said expect materially negative earnings revisions driven by weaker consumer demand. That was their comments. So we're going to see in the next few days third quarter earnings results released from corporate America, from companies like Apple. And then we'll have more guidance on the fourth quarter. Now, don't not be surprised if a company already downward guided that they downward guide even more. When you turn over to Nike, major problems there as well. Supply chain disruption. Their shoes, of course, overseas, coming back to the United States, can't get enough of them. Difficulty with a supply chain disruption and it's impacting its bottom line. This all is big news for your benefits because remember what happens. Remember when all this happens. Supply chain disruption raises inflation. Supply chain disruption hurts profitability of companies. Supply chain disruption causes growth of unemployment claims because companies will get laid off, will lay people off as they make less profits that respective quarter because of supply chain disruption. So, so much at real issue across the board. Meantime, one of the major stories hitting and developing today, it started last week, first feature on this channel, it's making even more news today because the confirmations are starting to come in. OPEC Plus. OPEC Plus meets within just days from now, hours almost, and they're likely, according to more reports that confirms my reporting last week and last weekend, are going to cut oil production. I first reported to this to you nearly a week ago. If OPEC Plus cuts production, that means less available oil and the same amount of demand that comes as Hurricane Ian lost several days of refinery production in the United States because of the refineries are turned offline, that comes as increased demand because people are back from uh, summer vacations, back in school, back in the office. A lot more driving, a lot less oil. How much is the price of gasoline where you live right now? We had one viewer, Catalina, here in Los Angeles. She said in Koreatown on Sunday, the price of gasoline was $7 at the pump. I got to tell you, it was seven dollars at the pump everywhere in Los Angeles yesterday. Seven dollars at the pump. I mean, the days of you know five twenty are gone. If you see a five ninety or five eighty, you grab it. But it's just, and that it's not stopping. They're going to try to get eight dollars a gallon, and that is where we're going across the board. Meantime, what's also important to remember is that. The supply chain disruption caused by Vladimir Putin is still there, and that hurts the commodities. And that ultimately, that supply chain disruption was one of the reasons Jay Powell addressed it by fact in the last FOMC meeting. In the big second half, we go over all these incredible checks. We're going to go over these lifetime stimulus checks, 
those FSCs, we're going to continue with them, and then those brand new automatic checks, ISCs. Meantime, we'll go over what to expect for this economy in the next 48 hours to 72 hours, a lot happening this week, and we'll get a projection of what's going to happen for the rest of this month. It's all going to come up on a big afternoon's broadcast from the shores of San Marcos, California. We're just getting started. I'm excited you're here. I'll see you back in 60 seconds as Afternoons LA continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues on a beautiful afternoon of Afternoons LA from the shores of Santa Monica, California on a beautiful October day. Yes, it cooled down. It cooled down measurably, substantially in just a short period of time. Everything's changing. Financial cliff, a weather changing. Uh, everything is changing left and right. I mean, even uh, my hairstyle is changing. <laughs> In the second half, we go over all these incredible checks, these FSCs. We left off at check C. Now, remember, check A, become a member, join this channel, go down to where it says check A, click the link, go in and apply. Check B, join and become a member, go down in the newsletter where it says check B, click the link and go and apply. Check C, go down the members of newsletter, it tells you who to call the 12 places and where to get them. Now, there are more checks. I'm going to go over all the next checks right now. E2K. These incredible checks passed by Congress, and they're absolutely huge. You're ready for them? I'm ready to give them to you. They are all together in the membership newsletter. Check E, $7,500. Wow. Check F, $4,000. Check G, incredible, 30% off. Check H, $2,000. Huge. It gets even better. Check I, $8,000. Check J, $8,000. And check K, $14,000. Now, in those checks E through K, we got a lot of different things in there. We got money for cars. We got money for home repairs. We got money for brand new appliances like a refrigerator, a furnace, or um, a, um, a bacon maker. <laughs> we got a little bit of everything in those incredible E through K checks. And we're still not done. We're continuing with those FSCs. Let's go over some, let's get some more FSCs picking up now with checks L and M. L is $100,000 of average, loan interest free money for the purchase of a brand new home. Wow. And $4,000 of free grant money. That's closing cost assistance. Then, stimulus N, like Nancy, one of my favorite, I think it is my favorite stimulus item in these packages of Federal FSCs. $100 towards a brand new computer, laptop, or tablet. Wow, I love that. Yeah, I mean, some people would love a brand new refrigerator. You know, eight thousand dollars for a brand new refrigerator. I just like the the tablet. I mean, this is great. Most tablets are less than hundred dollars. Huge, 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 huge. Brand new free internet as well. How much better can you like something like that? I love it. Then we have stimulus. Oh, zero down payment, zero closing costs, um, no credit check, and zero insurance required. And then Stimulus P, have an existing home, want to refi, got it there, Stimulus P. And that is 3% down and then 8% in closing cost assistance. Uh, and that's all your money to keep. That, my friends, is the wonderful FSC. So let's recap. FSC, 
federal stimulus checks. These are checks from the federal government, which is Washington, D.C., the President of the United States, the Congress, the Senate and the House. They come from Washington. They're paid by Washington. They're administered by Washington. They have nothing to do with your states. They have nothing to do with your states. They're FSCs. And these are monster checks. The largest check, 100000 Smallest check, 8000 Fastest routing time, about two days. Johnny got 45000 on a Wednesday when he started on Monday. By Friday, he got 80000 when he started on Monday. Huge. And the eligibility is always the same. These are the checks that are most important for you to get. Why? Because I care about you. Because my projections have been correct. And because the economy is going exactly where I said it was going to go. In spring of this year, 2021, I was the first American broadcaster to say the U.S. economy would suffer a recession for two years. And that recession for two years kicks in in 2023. So two years of session, you need a lot of stimulus, not a few hundred dollars, lots of thousands of dollars. And that's why once you get these incredible checks, viewers have been getting them since the month of March on this channel. And let's go over some of the success stories. Dragon was at $140,000 for her and her family. Now she's $170,000. She got $30,000 more. Uh, wonderful viewer Deborah got another $16,000 on Saturday from this channel. Oh, there was someone in the uh, LA Late Live show that ended this morning. I got to pull up the, the, the chat. I think it was twelve or 15000 It was a lot of money. It was a lot of money. I, if you were in that live chat, send me a message because I want to see that again. And congratulations on that wonderful view. That was brand new. That was this morning. I, I, I saw it when the show was ending. Uh, 12000 by Lynn Glenn. Another viewer, $12,000 for... And she got for utilities. Another viewer, $12,000 of utilities. A 12 months of utility, as you say. 14 months of rent, 14 months of rent for two different viewers. Spally got check A, Charlie got check C as well. And then we have all these incredible success stories. DC, keep on getting money. Uh, Johnny and, and Margaret and Mark and Lorraine. You want to see those success stories? Let's look at them right now. They're success stories every single hour on this channel. There's so many success stories, it's hard to keep uh, making graphics for you. But one of the purposes of these graphics are to say to you, you will be next. You will be next. People need that encouragement. People need that motivation. And so if you have access to that story, post in the live chat as well. People need to be motivated. People need to be encouraged. And this is all your opportunity right in front of you. Want $30,000 for rent? Go get check C. Want uh, these amount of money for utilities? Go get check C. Mark's brother in law got 15000 Lynn Glenn got 12 months. Combination, snap, uh, Mark's brother in law getting a quarter million dollars over 10 years. Combinations, Nisi to 23000 she went to 50000 Mark was at 32000 She He went to 166000 Here was Mark at 50, and then he went to 100, and then he went to 166. And Lorraine was at 105, and she went to 155. So you see the difference here. These are monster sums of money. These are the amount of monies that keep you surviving during this two-year recession. Now, in addition to those checks, I got other checks. The next group, ISC, Inflation Relief Stimulus Checks. Inflation Relief Stimulus Checks do come from your state. And so these Inflation Relief Stimulus, relief stimulus Checks, where are they? They're in the membership newsletter at Check D. Check D, like donut. You click the link, opens check D, and I go over the, all, all the respective states. And in each state, I go over the amount, and I actually have a link to their website in which they administer the checks, tell you more about it, track it, and things like that. What's the commonality of these checks? They're nice, about $1,000 or less, so it'll pay your bills for a few days or a few weeks, but not, you know, for two years. Number two, same general eligibility. Uh, number three, they're automatic. And number four, they generally require you to file tax return. So if you haven't filed a tax return, you can voluntarily file a tax return to get these available checks. Just go to irs.gov and electronically submit it through there across the board. Now, you're ready for more checks? I bet you are. Let's look at those incredible LSCs, a lifetime stimulus checks. Those incredible lifetime stimulus checks, why do we call them LSCs? Because once your benefits go up, they never go down. Once your benefits go up, they never go down. This is what we had talked about on this channel for two years. SS200, SS300, SS400. Now it's even more than ever before. 
and the details of it is all heating up within just days. For example, let's say your benefits went up 10% this year. Well, then that's not just this year, it's a lifetime. It's absolutely incredible. And let's look at the situation right now. On October 13th, we learn the details of this. October 13th is when the COLA is released that determines how much your benefits go up. COLA is determined by three other numbers. The CPI-W for the month of July, which has already been released, 8.7. The CPI-W for the month of August, already released, 8.9. And the CPI-W for September, that is also released along with the COLA on October 13th. Now, early in this video, I asked you to write down what do you think the belief what you believe this CPI-W for the month of September, which is already ended, will look like when it's released on October 13th. What's your answer? Write it again in the live chat. Comment your state. My answer now is 9.1 comma California. A month ago, it was 8.9. Then it went to 9.0. Then it went to 8.95. Then it went to 9.0. It's now 9.1. Why? Obviously, why? Gasoline. Gasoline had been tracking lower in June and July, in July and August, but in the later part of the month of September, almost halfway through, gasoline started surging higher. You and I knew this was going to happen because I predicted this one correctly as well. My predictions come through. The prediction was based upon the following. September is always higher gas prices. People are back from holiday traveling, and they are driving to work back at school, and there is massive Hurricanes always in September. It's the start of hurricane season. Hurricanes take refineries offline, so less production, more demand. And that's why gasoline has really tracked higher. It's all in the membership newsletter, featured on this channel Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So with that, the gasoline's higher. Now, the other component parts were already going up. Let's go over those right now. The first three are easy. Salaries are going up about 0.2% about per month. Medical bills going up 1% per month and the rent going up 1% per month. Now, get ready to loosen up those fingers and get into the live chat because I'm going to your, ask your questions about these items as well. Let's turn to some groceries. Is the chicken going up? Is the chicken going up? And I'm referring to the month of September compared to the prior month. My answer, chicken up, comma, California. Absolutely. In the month of September, what about the meat? My answer, meat up, comma, California. Let's do something different. How about Household cleaning supplies like the soap and the detergent, up or down, up, comma, California. Household uh, cleansers, absolutely up, comma, California. What do you think? Jump on the chat, live chat and write all this across the board. Finally, let's do the totality. Groceries, my answer, up, comma, California. So groceries, salaries, rent, medical bills, all up and along with gas. There you go. So... Am I confident with an CPI-W higher? I am. What have you has been saying over the last few days? Ever since we saw that gasoline go higher, the average view is saying 909192, and we haven't had some 93s. No one has said eight, eight anything on this channel. Which brings us to the next big question. What do you believe that COLA raise will be when announced on October 13th? I originally said 11% uh, over the summer. Where am I keeping it today? I'm still keeping it about 11%. I, you know, it's really a hard number to gauge. I may, or over the summer, I thought I was maybe overvaluing it. Maybe I'm thinking now I'm undervaluing it. What do you think that COLA raise will be? Write COLA and the number, comma, your state where you are. My answer, 11%, comma, California. But viewers have been saying 13% of the live chats. They've been saying 13%. Some people have been saying 14%. And this is, remember, it's the summation or the averaging of July, August, and September. So even if September's high, you got to average against July and August. And there you go. There you go. That is your stimulus. Now, why is it so important to get the stimulus? And thank you for watching the big second half. Watching the big second half is important because you need to know every check that's at issue. And you need to learn to earn. And hearing it maybe once may not make it set, a, set in, sink in. And you may need to hear it twice or three times. So that's why you always have to watch to the second half of the video as you are right now. The stimulus stampede is really part of this equation. What is a stimulus stampede? It's an expression I coined that describes people all rushing to pick stimulus up, get stimulus quickly for their wallets when the economy turns for the worse. Now, 
we do have an economy not doing well right now. But the stimulus stampede has really not started yet. Because why? As Bank of America says, and all the other analysts are saying, the credit card debt is still rising. The personal debt is still rising. The spending more than your salary is going, still rising. So people found a way to spend, but not be able to afford it. And when does that spending limit max out? When do they realize, uh-oh, I spent too much. I need to now pay for this spending and I can't pay for it. When does that really kick in? So jump in the live chat. When do you believe the stimulus MP is going to happen when millions of Americans say, oh, I'm in trouble. I need money right now. I need stimulus. My analysis has been 30 days from now. It should be 90 days from now. 90 days, three months from now. But I had a great view over the weekend. She said February 2023. Loved her analysis. She said, no, people have a lot more ability to raise debt than we may think. They have a lot of ability to raise debt, and the reality has not really set in yet that they shouldn't be doing that. And it won't set in until they really pile in a lot more debt. And that would be holiday spending. Fascinating analysis by that viewer. So I really like that. Why is stimulus stampede important for you? Because these are people going to come here and ask for stimulus. Yeah, 100 new members joined in the last 24 hours. So stimulus stampede, not yet, but you're going to see it. You're going to see video start, and then suddenly there's you know 250 people in the video when it starts instead of 115 people in the video. You're going to see uh, the number of views in the video going up. And you're going to see people saying, I'm new here, I'm new here, I'm new here. How different is this going to be? It's going to be very different. But because... COVID lockdown is so close in our memory that a lot of people are going to use that as their reference point, and they shouldn't. Why? Because the COVID lockdown is going to look nothing like the recession. The recession is going to be two years. The COVID lockdown wasn't two years. Number one. Number two. The COVID lockdown resulted in immediate spending of massive sums of money, trillions and trillions of dollars, within just days. Any rush to spend trillions of dollars on all Americans right now? No. Will there be? No. Will you see business grants like EID loans? No. Will you see extension of unemployment benefits so you get extra weeks of unemployment benefits? No. Will you see FPC, those $600 a week that goes on top of your unemployment benefits? No. The answer is just continually no, no, no. And that is why what I have for you here, yes, 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 which is massive amount of money, $300,000, $400,000, three categories with 300, 400 checks, this is great. The only question is how long it's going to be around. That's why you got to get it right now. So promise me, your, promise me this, you will watch more videos. You will know exactly how this works. You will listen very attunely. When I say the membership newsletter 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, you will hear Pacific Standard Time and realize, no, I am in New York. I'm not Pacific Standard Time. I'm 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. When I say uh, the Stimulus N has a laptop or computer or a tablet, you will focus on getting that tablet and laptop and going down to stimulus and in the newsletter. When I say check, when I say inflation relief stimulus checks are from your state, you'll remember that and you'll focus on that differently than federal stimulus checks, which are not from your states, which are from the federal, from the federal government. And finally, to understand where this economy is going this week, <laughs> A lot of people are losing their shirts, but the losing the shirt has really not hit in, kicked in just yet. And I don't think that has really started. Could it happen dramatically in this month? It could. It could. We haven't had that real catastrophic data yet that people are going to say, oh my goodness, other than the stock market. And that catastrophic data has not exemplified itself enough to spook people. As one builder told me last week, he said, you know what I'm seeing? We all know that the lumber prices are back down to those pre-COVID levels. So lumber had gone through the roof of inflation, but it's back down to normal. But they're still charging, uh, but they're still charging those massive numbers for construction like it was the inflation of earlier this year when it's no longer the case. Why? Because there's still buyers willing to pay for that. When the buyer market dries up, whatever industry it is, then the food chain starts to collapse. And the food chain starts to collapse, and ultimately, it's a domino effect. We haven't even started the domino effect yet. And that is why 
you're way ahead of the ball game. You're doing a great job. So get every amount of money you can and stay with me. Coming up tonight at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, that's 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, is a brand new evening's Ally Light. You've been watching that show in record numbers. It's a one-hour special broadcast going over the latest details on the markets. It's time to take after the markets close and all the latest details on what's going on with your stimulus, your economy, your recession, your inflation, and the latest projections of where your money is going. I'll have that tonight, 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I look forward to seeing you in that show. Live chat. A lot of fun. 6 o'clock, Countdown. 7 o'clock, Street and Stimulus. Very popular show. Open for everyone to jump in that live chat. 8 o'clock is extra. And 9 o'clock is sunset. The programming continues throughout the night and then returns the next morning with early mornings at LA at 4 a.m. Mornings countdown at 7 and mornings at LA live on air at 9. And remember, home LA is now holidays LA. So get your banana bread for the holiday season ready and your delicious Brussels sprout chocolate cake Um Canoosh ready, <laughs> and we'll have that all deliciousness uh, on holidays. From the shores of San Marcos, California, stay informed, stay focused. Have a beautiful day. Don't forget to become a member. Don't forget to get those incredible checks. Thank you for watching to the second half, and stay with LA for more. <laughs>